what's up y'all okay first of all i need my hair to dry before i get to where i'm going let's just start there but i am <clears throat> i'm currently taking prints out before i leave so i'm getting ready to meet up with some friends and we're gonna go to this reiki healing circle um and i believe the lady she does a sound bath also y'all i have been following her on instagram and i slick been like stalking her page because um i've been in my spiritual journey for a long i'm not gonna say a long time but maybe like the last two years i've been working on my spiritual my spirituality and um <clears throat> I keep crystals on me like like real deal um they're in my car when i travel i meditate i do affirmations so um i feel like this is going to be the next step in my um spiritual journey and i'm excited and, and my friends are coming with me too so like that's even more lit because everybody's on their own journey to healing um yeah that's where i'm at with it so i'm hoping that i could speak with the instructor and get her to do a podcast because i would absolutely love that so we're gonna see y'all i'm about to go and heal i'm about to go and heal what we're going to do is go and release the trauma that's in my body like oh my gosh this is going to be so deep because i've been through so much that's crazy I'm nervous and excited. Let's go, y'all. Hey, hello, everybody. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Um, if you don't know what a sound bath is, I'll try to explain it to you. But it's always best to experience it and then have the explanation. And then it makes that much more sense once, you know, you're like, oh, okay, duh, that's what a sound bath is. Like, for read day to connect to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we don't, we allow every part of this life and this world to consume us and then we wonder like, why am I unhappy? Why am I so stressed? Why this, why that? And it's because we're living in the physical. It is my job, it is my mission. God placed me here to show people and to teach people how to live in the spirit. When we live in the spirit, the physical starts to take care of itself because we are living in obedience. And we understand that this physical has no power over our lives. It's the spiritual part that has all of the power in our lives. And when we are obedient and when we take care of it and when we stay connected to God, we start to see the blessings unfold. We start to see how we can have peace. And so when I was thinking about this particular sound bath, something that just kept standing out to me was focus on the fruits of the spirit, focus on the fruits of the spirit. And I live a very, very, very simple life. I don't like to overthink things because when I overthink things, they overwhelm me. And when I'm overwhelmed, I become stressed. And when I'm stressed, my body gets sick. Like seriously, I am living in the spirit.
people with frequencies and with uh, wavelengths, they have different effects on our body. They have different effects on water, such that you've seen a ripple when a rock is thrown in water. And some are slower, some are faster. So these move at 432 hertz, which is the sound of natural tones. It's very pleasing to your spirit. It's pleasing to your ears, like I was saying. Yeah, I am such a vlogger. If you bought your own, yeah, you buy a butterfly. Let me grab Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's the us for me, because period. Okay, y'all, so I have made it home. Let me just tell you, I feel like, I truly feel like today was a life-changing experience. I do. Um, I would love to tell you guys what I really experienced, but I don't even know how to put it into words. But I do know that I felt every moment of every second that I was there. Um, and you know what? I'm walking around the house. So my lights are like. And you know what though? Like my friends had like, every, we all had like a really good experience. So um, I think it's something that we're gonna actually like do on the regular now. You gotta, look, you have to find some way to stay balanced. You have to find some way to recenter after dealing with the world. Life is always lifing. Life is always exposing you to different situations and different people and different energies. And sometimes it's just draining. You have to pour back into yourself. That was the message I got today from the instructor was, Pour back to back into yourself. It's not being selfish when you're working on you because you can't pour into someone else if you have nothing to pour from. So, um, and I really took that to heart. And guys, yeah. <sighs> yeah. I love Atlanta. I really do. <laughs>